is a fake bots and shit on his page. Nigga be out here acting like he got views. These niggas be buying views and all kind of shit. What's up, pussy? First thing you do, do is hide your face just like you did on the Wilson Night. You's a dick eater, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll slap fire out you. I hope you know that, too. Where you at? I give you up. Pull up, pull up to New York. No, I'm gonna fly you pull to Miami to tomorrow. I'm gonna fly you to Miami. Pull up free, to New York. Free. I'll fly you in, and I'm gonna fly trip. you in joint too. We gonna take free it from Miami. We gonna take it from her. Pull up. Come to New you York. Wait, like 150. I'll punish you, pussy. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds good. Pull up. That's you talking too get, much. And then, then I'm nervous? gonna fuck your mom, all right? Why you? Why you so nervous? Pull up. You nervous? After I beat your ass, I'm gonna you, fuck you. You nervous? Mom. Why you nervous for? Why would I be nervous? Yo, so pull up. Why are you still talking? Why pull would up. I be nervous, pussy? And I'm 280 pounds, by the way. But pull up. I, I put you in the blunt too, nigga. Uh huh. I hear you. Pull up. Show your face, you. pussy. Cut your cut your light on so we can see you, pussy. Yo, come to New York. You gonna come? Yep. I, I, right, when you gonna come? I actually get it. I actually get it next week on Tuesday. What's up? Nah, come, up? nah, 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 nah. Come this week. I, I'll be there next week on Tuesday. What nah, you come this week. And I come this week. If you come play me, I put your ass in the pack, nigga. You a die. You'll, you'll come this week. You a die, nigga. Come this week. Show your face, you fucking faggot. Come this week. You's a bitch. You scared? You scared nervous and you scared? Scared of what? You nervous and you scared because you know what time it is. What time Pull is up. it? What time is it, pussy? I'm asking you to pull up. What time is it, pussy? You tell we, me to pull we, up we, like we, you don't your face or anything, nigga. You a die, nigga. Uh huh. I you hear a you. Die, nigga. You bitch I ass, nigga. You. I hear you. Cut your light on. Are you gonna pussy. pull up though, or what? Are Cut you gonna keep talking or pull up? You said pull up. You ain't showing your face. You fucking pussy. Are you gonna Are you gonna show up or pull up? Are you gonna show your face? What you gonna do? You gonna show your face? You gonna just Which one you gonna do? Come on, pull up, nigga. New York's big ass state. Why are you so nervous? Why would I be nervous? Cause it's nigga, like I, was just in, I was just in New York, pussy. You what part of New York you was in? What part of New York you was in? Bronx, nigga. Brooklyn. What part of the Bronx? Manhattan. Oh yeah, come back to the Bronx. Through there, nigga. What's up? Yeah, come back to the Bronx. That's where I'm at. I got more weight in your city than you do. Pussy. Yeah, you think so? So pull up. Show your face, bitch. <laughs> I put that. <laughs> I put that heat on your ass tonight. What's up? Put Yo, you ass, drop, drop your low if you tough. I can give it to you right now. You want you want the address to say it alive? Drop, drop your low if you tough, nigga. That niggas run down on your bitch ass. I'll put a bag on you tonight. What's up? Huh? What's up? Oh, nigga shit don't work. You want the address? Nigga shit don't work. You saw, it's I'm all asking you, you want the address. Hey, don't be doing all that talking. You your, your time don't you want the address? I'm asking if you want the address. You sound scary. Your opportunity, nigga. I was gonna put that money on you. Nigga, voice cracking and shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who the hell just sent me a cash app? Why is y'all sending me cash apps and how did you find me on cash app? That's crazy. <clears throat> Yeah, we got cooked again, man. Fuck the commanders, roll runners, man. Them niggas made me sick. We gonna beat the Eagles next week, I hope, though. We fuck y'all shit up. Y'all just got y'all good win against the Dolphins. I ain't gonna hate. We trash, man. We fucking it up. Why are people mad? People mad at me for exposing the scammers because they are fans of the scammers. Very simple. These niggas are fanboys. So when they see their favorite 
the people getting exposed for all the scamming and all that other stuff, they actually go out here and they they, they start attacking the people because they feel like they're coming to the defense of their superstars. Like I heard Fat Joe say something uh, in, in defense, and he was like, he tried to use R. Kelly as the example of like, I'm like, bro, did you use R. Kelly? This nigga's a rapist, dog. So like, Fat Joe like trying to act like just because you you got celebrity like shit like that that you supposed to get a pass if you break the law. Like Fat Joe, come on, my nigga, I fuck with you, nigga. Lean back, all that shit. But let let's be clear, Fat Joe, if a nigga take your money, nigga, you gonna want your bread back. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, Joe, like, you got to stop this nut shit, man. I know these niggas you cool with and all that, but Fat Joe, I just got to be real with you, my nigga. If a nigga took your bread, you would want your bread back by any means necessary. Now that all these people got their bread taken, man, don't be online because you a friend with a nigga feeling like shit nobody say nothing. That's crazy, my nigga. Because that was your aunt, that was your mom, that was your grandma, that was your people. You would be demanding that people gave that bread back and you would do whatever you needed to to get it back. So stop trying to silence the people that's speaking up for the people who are doing the right thing. It don't matter if that person is a celebrity. It's not praying for a nigga to go to jail. If a nigga breaking the law, he set himself up to go to jail. Like hip-hop and all this shit don't mean nothing to facts, bro. Like we got to stop trying to cake people because they got an actual platform. If a nigga doing, doing crime, he need to motherfucking be able to do the time, man. And that's, that's what respect. I respect Fat Joe. That shit he said was crazy, though. He's like, yo, you use R. Kelly as an example and shit like that. I'm like, bro, what are you talking about, Joe? Like, that's crazy. <clears throat> like, my nigga, that's crazy. Don't, don't, don't do that, dog. Just because you cool with a nigga, you want him to have a, sec a second set of uh, circumstances than everybody else in America get. Nah, dog, this nigga ran off with millions of dollars. Yeah, niggas is cheering on his downfall because he, he he preyed on his own community. You don't cheer on niggas, you don't you don't cape on niggas that do wrong, man. I, I love me some R. Kelly music, but R. Kelly's a piece of shit. You feel me? Like, let's keep it a buck. Those was women that he young little girls that he was fucking fucking their life over. And and we gotta stop trying to like you know justify and and, and and excuse people because we like their motherfucking talent. Fuck your talent, nigga. You's a nasty motherfucker. If you a nasty motherfucking, you taking care of I me, mean, taking advantage of women, guess what? You don't get no pass over here. You don't get no, oh, let's give him a do-over or whatever. No, he's a sick fuck. Put his ass in jail. Go learn from your lessons. I was disappointed to hear that from Fat Joe. I'm like, man, I, I don't, you know, I get it, man. Niggas got relationships and all that shit, bro. Right is right, wrong is wrong, nigga. This ain't about praying on a nigga downfall. This is about that motherfucker did shit that, that created people that's committing suicide, all kind of weird shit, going through all kind of terrible situations at home. Like, consider the victim. Stop considering that one nigga. Think about the hundreds of people that they impacted. Of course, I put hands on the coal every day. That's my woman. Stupid ass. Put some of beat woman. You niggas is the goofiest niggas. I'm about to go put hands on her in about a few. As soon as I get off this live. <clears throat> but yeah, man. And like that, that that part right there. I was I was disappointed to hear Fat Joe say that shit. Like, damn, nigga. You're like niggas doing this like that's exactly what it is selective politic and like it is it, it's scamming right it's scamming wrong it's, it's killing right it's killing wrong because like when it, it's your homie your friend it'd be like free free this nigga free that nigga this nigga's a full-blown murderer you niggas is goofy bro like a lot of these niggas be goofy like they be saying free niggas as full-blown murderers nigga i'm like no keep that bitch ass nigga in jail that nigga's a killer like, what the fuck is we freeing this nigga for? Because he make good music? No, keep that nigga in jail and just give him some goddamn studio equipment. Shit. R. Kelly should just have studio equipment in the motherfucking uh, jail. 
I ain't say that R. Kelly didn't make great music. Put the goddamn studio equipment in the goddamn jail. You shouldn't silence the nigga's voice. The nigga's voice in the, is, is goddamn amazing. Take the nigga, put him where he can't fuck with no women and no, no girls no more, and let that nigga sing his ass off in jail. I had That nigga should have had the baddest motherfucking studio in the goddamn world. The baddest motherfucking studio in the goddamn world. The baddest motherfucking studio in the world. He just shouldn't be able to be around women and, and girls. Simple put. A lot of this shit simple, man. We making this shit complicated, man. I I don't think you should strip R. Kelly's goddamn musical talent away. That nigga is a goddamn god when it comes to music. Put the studio in his goddamn cell. Let that nigga sing his ass off. The nigga can sing. I still listen to the nigga music. I don't care if you niggas don't like his music. I like the goddamn music. I don't like the person. I don't like, like the person. Nah, it, it is not free Kells. Lock up Kell. Keep his black ass right there to fucking jail. He's right where he damn his actions put him at. He's earned his actions. He earned to be in jail for the rest of his life or however they said for for him, hey, that he he was a nasty freaky nigga. He did some shit that violated the law. They gave him hey, enjoy the ride. But get, get a nigga some musical equipment. Get that nigga a studio in that goddamn jail. Put put a, put the studio in jail. Let that nigga sing his ass off. He's a singing motherfucker. That nigga should be able to sing for the rest of his life. But he just needed singing from in jail. I love on me in the Hellcat. On me, st- scammed the 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 cable company. He ain't scam his own people. That nigga was selling cable. I'm not mad at that. He, that's some shit, nigga. He had found a lick. I'm kind of jealous. I ain't find some shit like that. That was, nigga was making some money. Hey, this 22 King underscore P. I'm going to send you a live request. Let me see if you got heart. That's what I'm saying. And like, bro, I sent you a live request. You try to talk some shit about a nigga, and then you won't even stand on it, bro. Like, what type of pussy ass nigga are you, Paul Brown? You's a bitch. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you weak ass niggas be talking in a nigga comments, typing like a motherfucker. Niggas send you a live request after you say some disrespect, and you won't even answer the phone. Yeah, you's a bitch. I'm gonna block you since you you decline two live requests. You get blocked, pussy. I don't like no pussy ass nigga like you. You you um you requested me? Yeah, I see you typing some shit about who I beat in the comments. What, yeah, what I'm, type of... I'm asking him a question. Who did he say you beat and, and kidnapped? Who he talking about? Why would it matter in the first place? That's what I want to know. Why would it be your business? If I beat the shit out of somebody or whatever, why would it be your business? What you? It's not my about? business. I'm just asking him a question. Why want... did he say that? I don't know why y'all be so consumed with like somebody else's business? Well, listen. It's on live, and you he's talking to you, and I'm asking him a question. Who was he talking about that you supposed to have did that to? That's what I be asking. I be wanting to know all, like, when, when people be so opinionated and so and shit, I be wanting to know about y'all, too. 
Well, then that's your choice. But like I just said, that's what I'm asking. So when last time, when the last time, you, when the last time you paid a late bill? I didn't pay a late bill. You ain't never had a late bill. Of course I had, but it hasn't been a while. So I just asked you when the last time you paid a late bill. You said I ain't paid a late bill. I ain't had a late bill. Yeah. So you ain't never had a late bill. Yeah. Then you said yes, of course, course I had, I had a, late a late bill. So when was the last time? Like two years ago. Like two years, so it's still on your credit. Yes. No, it's paid. I, if you. If you had a late, it stay on your credit for seven years. So how is it not on? Uh, well, uh, I don't know that if it stay only for seven years. I'm not concerned about you don't, that. But don't they got use to do your with credit? Anything. What? You don't use your credit? No, because I don't have good credit right now. You, you don't have good credit and you were here in my business? No, I'm not in your business. I asked him a question, okay? So what are you huh? talking about? I I'm asked a, I'm, Tim a question. I, I, I know, you, I, I, I know, I know. I'm, I'm just fucking with you, Tammy. God damn it. I'm, I'm just fucking with you, Tammy. Tammy get mad. I don't want to make Tammy mad. She was just, she did. Tammy was about to go off on me. <laughs> Niggas that ask why I live in hotels. Do, do you think I live in a hotel, nigga? How stupid are you? And let me tell you something. If I lived in a hotel, do you know how expensive it would be to live in a hotel? The average nightly rate anywhere I spent in a hotel was $1,100 a night. So what do you think that would be for a month? Could you imagine if I would do that? Fucking nigga, could you afford to do that, you bum-ass nigga? Like, some of the broke nigga shit that you say, nigga, you couldn't go stay at the Motel 8 for a month. Nigga, I stayed five-star best shit in the fucking world, nigga. What are you talking about, you poor-ass nigga? Like you po nigga, like you a po nigga trying to challenge me about where the fuck I stay at. If I'm in if I stayed in the hotel, nigga, do you see the shit that I stay in, nigga? <laughs> do you see the shit that I stay in, nigga? <laughs> you better nigga, what the fuck? Man, play with you. Man, don't play with me, play with you. Bitch, man. Like what the fuck are you talking about? <clears throat> Hey, yeah, motherfucking uh, uh, November the 5th, nigga, we in Houston, Texas, too. Nigga, make sure y'all pull up. Uh, I'm pulling up on the Turkey Leg Hut, November 5th, Houston, Texas. It's up. Shout out to Lynn, Slim, me and my baby. We pulling down to the, uh, you see me at the Cosmo? Shout out, Willie. Uh, we pulling up Houston, Texas. All my Texas, I, I got love in Texas, right? Hey, listen. Texas, November 5th, we pulling up to the uh, Turkey Lake Hut. Like, the, they gonna have 20,000 niggas out that motherfucker. I can't wait to be there. <clears throat> nah, it ain't denying you, nigga. You scary, nigga, with your big ass head. Dick eating stuff. Someone, somebody's denying you. Ain't shit denied you. You ain't blocked from joining. Stop lying. Scary ass, bad boy. My baby falling asleep so goddamn fast. I just, we were just in Detroit. Damn, E, you should have pulled up this weekend, dog. I thought you were going to pull up, man. I know you had your baby and shit, but you should have pulled up, man. I was ready. Got done go outside, shit. Champagne, E, with my nigga, man. Where my nigga Eli at, man? You heard? Where you at, dog? Eli got me in Miami. I, I ain't, you know, I ain't got my nigga pull up in the goddamn trap. Nigga, I know you want to go to the trap, Eli. I know you want to go to the trap, nigga. You been in the house. Hey, November 5th, nigga, we in uh, Houston. Eli, pull up. I be everywhere. Hell yeah. Supreme Gumbo. Let me screenshot that. Nigga, I box every day, nigga. If a nigga want to box, we can box. You better be ready to get your shit clapped, though. My shit like that. <clears throat> My shit like that. I'm trying to tell you, I got hands and I can shoot. So it's either, th is it however they want to do it? Champagne E, what's up, my nigga? When I'm coming to ATL, I think like in a week or two. 
I was waiting on. I'm supposed to be getting with a. Uh, um, damn, what's my man name? Carlos and them from eighty five South. Yeah, it said community guidelines because you a fucking troll. That's all you do is troll. IG know you a troll. Them niggas just want, they ain't got no daddy, so they want somebody to pay them attention. <laughs> 